Mm -hmm. I like mentioning this feature because not everyone takes kind of full advantage of the sketch contours. So here I am in SolidWorks. I have a sketch that I was working on. Uh, the first thing you want to make sure of is that this feature is turned on. So in the command manager um, for sketches, if I come up here to the top, you see I have an option to toggle these shaded sketch contours on and off. If I click it, you see my contours go away. Just make sure that's turned on to kind of get access to this functionality. Now, as soon as I turned it on, you'll notice all my sketch contours get shaded. If there's a contour that is inside of another contour, you can see that it gets a darker shading to kind of help you visualize that. Now, the big advantage here is that this can be used as a really helpful indicator, letting you know if your contours are fully closed or not. Sometimes we can accidentally leave these small undetectable gaps in our sketches, maybe if we were kind of clicking around a little bit too fast. Um, here, for example, I can see that for some reason, my rectangle that's kind of surrounding everything is not shaded. This is kind of warning me that the contour is open. So this would be a good time to use my repair sketch tool that finds any small gaps in my sketch. So I go to repair sketch. Sure enough, see a little magnifying glass. There is a little gap in here that's preventing my contour from being closed. So I can just drag it in and close it up. You see that my contour now shows up. Um, now, once I have my contours, uh, one thing that I really like about this is the ability to move your sketches around. You can move these contours just by grabbing the shaded area. Um, no longer do you have to kind of grab them by a specific entity or kind of highlight everything um, and then move them that way. The issue with that when I, when I don't have sketch contours on is you can really only drag it by you know, specific endpoints or like the sketch geometry itself. And if I just wanna move it and I don't wanna kind of like change the size of it, I'm really limited in that. I would have to probably use like the move entities command. So I really like shaded sketch contours for that reason, you know, allows me to control my sketch a little bit better. Um, another thing with sketch contours is that I can pre-select them right from within my sketch. Um, so in this sketch, for example, I have a bunch of different contours in here. Let's say I wanna select, kind of pre-select specific ones to use for an extrusion, let's say. I can do so by holding down the Alt key. So if I hold down my Alt key, you will see that I can either select contour regions or contours themselves by highlighting the edges. So let's say if I wanted to extrude like this area and then this inside area, select both of them. If I go over to an extruded boss space, you will see that those contours kind of get pre-selected for me. Um, if I see my selected contours, they already come in here, make my life a little bit faster. And there I have my contours.